Now, the Fox 61 Weather Watch with Chief Meteorologist Rachel Frank. I just got a message from someone, Jim B, saying so much rain make it stop. And I think there's a lot of people that can kind of get behind that statement right now. There was a break in the rain earlier. This is from Mike D in Torrington and I had to show this to you a beautiful. Oh, this is not in Torrington. This is in East Haven. That is Long Island Sound, but a beautiful shot there. So forgive me, Mike, for getting that title wrong. Taking a look at the radar, though, there is so much going on outside tonight. We have areas of rain, thunder. There's still a flash flood warning in effect for Southern Hartford. Tolland and Wyndham counties where we previously saw a quick two, three inches of rain over the course of an hour or so. Since then, the heaviest rain is actually in different parts of the state and we've seen thunderstorms and new areas of heavy rain develop right now. Probably the strongest storm in the state is the one here around Cheshire that's heading into Wallingford and into Meriden here over time with heavy rain, very loud and prolific thunder and lightning here. Also seeing a smattering of heavier downpours from Plainville through New Britain and also seeing some rain and thunder from Windsor Locks over through Ellington. It is almost impossible for me to point out all of these different areas that are getting heavy rain outside tonight because there are so many. I would say as we head towards and after midnight, this will all continue to diminish and we'll still see a few lingering showers and rumbles of thunder out there, but I think the worst will be over by that point, at least for tonight. But we have more showers and rumbles of thunder in store as we head into the day tomorrow. This time around the timing will be moved up a little bit, so it'll be more midday and afternoon. And I, that means I think that the day tomorrow doesn't look as nice as today, but the evening looks better than today. So pick and choose. Uh, we've got a flood watch in effect for Hartford, Tolland and Windham counties just to say, and this goes all the way through your July 4th and through July 4th evening and into early July 5th because we'll have additional rounds of heavier downpours and the ground is already super saturated, so it wouldn't take much to push rivers and streams over the edge or to flood in some of those low lying areas. So as we head through the overnight hours, here's some of those leftover showers. Hours. I'm going to stop the clock at 9 a.m. Clouds, some breaks of sunshine. It's warm. It's humid to start off the day tomorrow, and there could be a scattered shower kind of right out of the gate for some in the morning. But as we head through the afternoon, that's when we'll really watch for that chance for a thunderstorm. And again, some of those could be strong with some heavy rain, some gusty winds, and maybe even some hail. But watch what happens. This is 4 o'clock. Kind of after four or five, we start to kind of dry things out. So we are mostly dry as we head towards and after sunset. That's the direction that we would like to see things continue in. Low temperatures tonight around 70 degrees. Highs tomorrow not as warm as today. Low to mid 70, low to mid 80s, I should say, for most of the state, but upper 70s for parts of Northwest and Northeast Connecticut. And then kind of buried here because we keep talking about storms is the heat on the way. We're going to keep high humidity in place all through the week and we're going to add the heat to the mix as well. So it'll be hot, hazy and humid Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, a heat wave possible inland. We're back in the 80s for the weekend and then it looks like we'll see an increasing chance for a scattered shower or a thunderstorm guys.